I think I follow science more than you do. You watch all your Soprano box sets and all that lot. I'm watching science. I'm reading yeah, but science. you don't get anything from it. I do, it for a minute. Well, what it have you learned most me. recently? But you don't learn anything. It goes in and there's a guy, and then you, then you extrapolate in your own little world. A bit of knowledge is better than none. You, you don't know. I have. What? What's the most recent piece of scientific information you've discovered? There was some scientist on the radio saying that I might not be bald, I've just got very fine hair. <laughs> Was he referring specifically to no, you? No, we just were saying any bald men listening. New science shows this. Oh, all right, that's good. Bit of science. I heard... There's a load of birds in America that have just died. No one knows. That's, that's a bit mysterious. There's no answer to that one. There's well, just there is. Like five there is an birds. answer to it. What's that, then? We don't know yet. Yeah, but that's... To that's, say that we don't... But that's the best bit of science, I think. The bit when you go, oh, what was that? When you go, it, they flew into a, a big window, you go, it's boring. I like that bit of it. I like the bit of, can we make this kid with no legs walk? Don't know. Let's give it a go. Yeah, we have. Oh, a bit boring. It's the bit, so it's the So you found that kid it. didn't walk? I like the bit when he's dragging himself about and you're going, will we do it? <laughs> will we ever make this boy walk? That's not science. <laughs> I'd love to see that show coming soon to the Science Channel. Will we ever make this boy walk? Yeah. So he's got some new mechanical legs that he puts right. by the side of the bed. You just nick them because okay, you'd right. rather see there's him crawling around. An, has he got legs? Or has he got legs that don't work? Right? They no, just don't they're work. Just not there. They're just not there. He's got no legs at all. Was he born without legs? Right, so he's born without legs. Oh, oh, this little baby's got no legs. Carl, will we ever make this boy walk? Uh, well, we can try. Okay. That's the good bit. Down, 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 down. What are you doing first? Down, 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 down. Let's make some legs. Ah, what? Wood. Wooden legs. 2011. Give him wooden legs. What wood are you using? Uh, something that's not too heavy. Probably a bit of MDF. Right, OK. Right. What do you do? How do you make the legs? Uh, just, just sort of say, right, how tall do you want to be? Uh, I want to be about five foot. Right, OK. I need a two and a half foot leg. Right. Make them. You're still going with wooden legs. You're still, can I just convince you to look at some other materials? No. Nope. We haven't got time. We've got wooden he's legs. He's got no legs and he's moaning. What do you mean you don't want wood? You haven't got anything down there. Selfish. <laughs> right. brought out the real him. OK, right, OK. Uh, Mr Pilpington, um, thank you for saying you've never got wooden legs, but I'm just worried about, like, well, rotting and woodworm and... and the, the preservatives. Uh, it's fine. Just preserve them twice a year. Right. It'll be fine. Right. How oh, rotting legs. Oh, they haven't got any at the moment, so which is better, little Billy? What do you want, rotting legs or no legs? Because well, there's other kids out there sort of rubbishing about on their arse who'd love these little wooden <laughs> legs. What do you want? And that's how it should wooden be. Legs. Right, then. OK. This is not science, this is Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. <laughs> 